there is new hope in the fight against COVID-19. Another drug company has announced its vaccine is extremely effective. Yeah, the news comes as the U.S. adds around a million cases in less than a week, leaving many hospitals on the brink of being overwhelmed. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in the newsroom with more on this story. Jasmine, good morning to you. Morning. Good morning, DeMarco, Suzanne. Yeah, it was this race to the vaccine, and this morning, pharmaceutical company Moderna announced its new vaccine is 94.5% effective in phase three trials. Last week, Pfizer said its similar version of a COVID-19 vaccine was more than 90% effective. Moderna plans to seek FDA authorization for the immunization after more safety data is gathered later this month. Of the 15,000 participants who received the vaccine, only five contracted COVID-19 and none became seriously ill. Meanwhile, COVID cases are pushing Utah's hospitals to the brink, and things are almost certainly going to get worse, according to Dr. Brandon Webb. We do know what's coming. We're seeing so many cases day over day that unless definitive steps are taken to interrupt the transmission cycle, exceeding capacity is a mathematical inevitability. Grim scenes continue to unfold in El Paso, Texas, where El Paso County inmates were loading bodies onto mobile morgue trucks over the weekend. The county judge there says using inmate labor indicates the city's level of staff shortages. More than 200 people have died in that city from COVID in the last month, with cases and hospitalizations smashing records. At least 27 states have imposed new coronavirus restrictions on businesses and gatherings in the last two weeks. In Michigan, which saw at least 496 deaths from COVID last week, the governor announced a three-week freeze on indoor dining and in-person learning for high school and college students Sunday night. If we don't take aggressive action right now, we could soon see 1,000 deaths per week here in Michigan. But without more targeted restrictions, hospital systems nationwide could be just weeks away from their breaking point, according to infectious disease experts. My worst fear is what we saw happen in, in other countries where people were dying on the streets. People literally were dying in the waiting room of emergency rooms after spending 10 hours just waiting to be seen. That's going to start happening, and we will see the breadth and the depth of this tragedy. The, government's, the government is saying that both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines will be free. Both require two doses. The company say some early doses could be available by the end of the year, but it will be the spring before these vaccines are widely available. DeMarco, Suzanne. I'm